Welcome to the Wu Shortcodes Kit Pro Video Guides. This time we will learn how to build a custom account page with custom login, using the function Wu Shortcodes Kit Custom Templates for Elementor. It's only required to be an Elementor user and activate the Wu Shortcodes Kit Pro function to start to work. The account page have two different scenarios, the zone for the logged in users where will display the orders lists, addresses, among others, and the zone for the non-logged in users where will display the login form, and two can be added the register form if you enable it from the WooCommerce settings. Don't worry. Customize the account page is very easy with Woo Shortcodes Kit Pro. Just need edit the page and remove the WooCommerce by default account shortcode, save the changes on the page and change to Elementor Builder. Now open the templates library, can check the live preview first if you want. You will see the zone for non-logged in because you are non-logged. Insert the Woo Shortcodes Kit Pro account template. Save the changes and let's go to check it. How you can see, now the account page is not fully completed, some shortcodes are displaying, and the non-logged in users zone are available too for logged in users. It's happened because we need to configure some functions in the Woo Shortcodes Kit settings, so let's go to do it. Go to Wu Shortcodes Kit Settings and look for the Pro section called Compatibility with Third-Party Plugins. Expand it and enable the function Elementor tabs linkables. Enable to the next function to activate the shortcodes for Elementor. Enable to the function called Custom Blocks for Elementor, and additionally for this case let's go to enable the functions to enable the custom avatar uploader on the Edit Account section and the shortcode to display it. You can get more information about how to use each function in the official documentation. Remember save the settings, and let's go to check the changes. How you can see, now it's have a better look. Now we have different sections how the orders. The addresses. The edit account form with the avatar uploader. The payment methods to access without reload the page. But it's not completed yet, we need to configure the custom redirections for the WooCommerce advanced actions. Like view order details. Edit addresses, or add a payment method. For example if I want to add a new payment method, I am redirected to the orders section, and then I need to click again on the save card section. So let's go to configure it correctly. To get it, go to Wu Shortcodes Kit Settings, and look for the section called Wu Shortcodes Kit Pro Settings, expand it and go to the function Custom Redirections for Advanced Actions of WooCommerce My Account. Here you can add the tab slug related with the section, for example. The tab slug for the orders list section is hash tab 1, the slug for the addresses section is hash tab 2, and the slug for the saved cards section is hash tab 4. All the slugs are provides for the function Elementor tabs linkables, you can get more information in the official documentation. Remember save the settings, and before to check it. Let's go to configure the logout button options and the login options. So go to the section called Build Your Custom Account Page and look for the function Logout Button Shortcode. Expand it to configure the advanced options. Here you can customize the Logout button, add your custom text, and choose where redirect to the users after logout. Check to the redirection for the users after login from the function Login Form Shortcode. By the way, let's go to enable the function to display the WooCommerce notices. 
So let's go to the section called Additional Shortcodes and activate the function Display WooCommerce Notices. Remember save the settings, and now yes, let's go to check it finally. Perfect. Now if I want to check any order detail it will keep the orders tab opened and I will display the orders details below the orders table. The same happens with the addresses section when I want to edit the addresses, and if I save the changes, the notice is displayed too. The edit account form works correctly and display the notice too after save the changes. The payment methods section now redirects correctly after click on the add payment method button and the form is displayed correctly, we can add other test card, and it will be redirected again to the same tab. It's works too for make default the payment method, and too with the delete action. Finally the logout button have his own section too and not close the session directly. So if we make click on the exit button we will close our session. How you can see the login zone is fully customized too. The lost password link works correctly and you can add to the register form from the WooCommerce settings. Now you have the power to build fastly and easily your custom WooCommerce site. If you want to know more about all the function of Woo Shortcodes kit and its pro version. You can check the official documentation. Much more templates and videos are coming soon, so if you want miss anything, subscribe to be notified about the new videos. See you soon.